M's in the band says, M, you're in jail. <laughs> hello, everybody. Oh, God. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, of course, M's going to be doing some work editing some videos some point next few days. So this is going to be good. Anyway, right. We have got some uh, announcements and things, which is really good. First of all, uh, this looks to be Elijah Bradley. We'll kind of come back to it in a second. And of course, uh, leader, which looks like it's confirmed. I did think first and foremost that the leader would be uh, a champion for, say, the double track, but it's not. It's actually a beta rate build, as we have learned uh, with that one. Either way, uh, we'll be seeing some footage of uh, Elijah Bradley very, very soon, I hope. Uh, but of course, there's tons of things, tons of exciting things uh, that are going on at the moment. Yeah, so we'll come back to Elijah Bradley in a second. Uh, what is exciting, Rich? Well, it's this. Uh, promo code on Friday, of course, for the live stream. Um, I'm excited to look forward to the future of Marvel Contest of Champions. I think there's going to be a lot of things uh, that we're going to like very much enjoy. Uh, so that's going to be very, very good. Um, yes, so we've got, as it says here, live stream. And that's, uh, is it going to be the normal time? So I think all the exciting things happening in July. Good. It'll be on July 5th. Good. We'll be, of course, be covering stuff. We do our live stream recap uh, where we listen intently and try and find out what Kabam are talking about. Plus, we'll break down stuff into further topics if we need to. Uh, and, and something that I am finding from like doing a bit of research, I think I was wrong about the Battlegrounds medal situation. But, but I don't know if that's the case because we've created a bad season of everybody has to do it in order to climb up and grab that uh, Death, Deathless Vision piece. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on with that. Maybe I'll cover it in tomorrow's MCN. I haven't uh, decided. And of course, do bear in mind I'm working on a few other projects. Like we're trying to get the uh, stat focus guide. Uh, and also I want to do some other kind of guides as well. So I'm, I'm spinning a lot of plates at the moment uh, with stuff. It's stressing me out a little bit to be honest. But I'm, I'm trying to get there. Right. The other great thing about this is that there's a narrative roadmap. That's exciting because we kind of learn what the next kind of few months of... I would say it takes us to the end of the year of what kind of maybe champions we might see. What kind of, say, I don't know, um, maybe story content. But they may factor into something like sagas, which, is, again, is, is quite exciting, uh, which says that the rest of the year. And, yeah, the promo code, I, I, it doesn't say what time maybe it will have something on i would say as it have it on twitter but it doesn't it may have it somewhere else of like what time the live stream is uh maybe it will be i'm not having a quick look on the forums uh it doesn't say anything at the moment it'll probably come in later on when it like the time frame of, of what it is because i'm looking at the mcoc team post and there's nothing there to say like um it's the live stream at this time which it normally says which you kind of go like it's normally about 9 a.m pst I want to say because it's British say British summertime that it's uh, 5 p.m. maybe. Uh, I'm not 100% uh, sure with that. But anyway, um, let's end the video talking a little bit or kind of like covering uh, Elijah Bradley because, of course, he is your second champion for the month. The first champion being the leader. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader to Elijah Bradley. Um, I don't really know much about Elijah Bradley, except I think it was a champion I predicted a long time ago. So, uh, so yeah, I want to kind of mention, like, this could be one of the champions you see in the future. I think it was it was definitely on the, uh, on the list. Uh, have we seen Marvel Studios? I... <sighs> Potentially, it's going to be, he might be in, what, the coming upcoming Captain America film? Really? Oh, didn't, didn't know that. Maybe I haven't done the full kind of, re well, it's a film thing. I don't know. I, I try not to kind of like spoil myself too much on, on stuff like that. Uh, Patriot is the name of the character um, from, from what seems to be like some comic book based stuff. Um, New York based. Okay. Abilities wise, is this going to be like a, another super soldier serum Captain America type thing? Maybe. Let's let's read. Uh, well, originally born with no superhuman abilities, however, after receiving a blood transfusion from the maternal gr grandfather, is right. There we go. Now I get it. As Az Isaiah. Of course, uh, you'll know based on Isaiah Bradley. Uh, Bradley. Oh. 
it's always when you kind of like read these things that you go, Bradley. Hmm. I think I've seen that, heard that before. No. Yes. Isaiah Bradley. Oh, great. And you learn these things. Um, remember he became mutated due to exposure to super soldier serum which enhanced all of his bodily functions and hit to the peak of human potential and just the usual stuff he can hit things really hard he's got good strength he's got good stamina it's all the stuff durability um chemical immunity foreign chem disease immunity would would he be made <sighs> see what's that um like would they kind of make him more like mutant no, it'd be si science. Uh, I, I don't know. Hang on. If the leader comes in and he's science, and Eli, Eli, Bra Eli Bradley comes in, Patriot comes in, and is science, then it's double science month. month. Would they kind of like do that? I don't know. Thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about that? Do you think they'll have a double science month? Will they instead go a different route? I'll be interested to find out the classes of those champions when they come in. Uh, it doesn't say anything about regeneration. You know, what's the form of powers then? So... Why does he keep popping up the top games? When, we, when he first joined Young Avengers, Eli used mutant growth hormone to artificially grant superhuman powers, including superhuman strength, enhanced durability, and even being bulletproof. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what they'll kind of give. He has more parkour-based moves, so will we see that in-game? Maybe. Uh, natural skill tactician, whatever that means. And the equipment is a Patriot uniform, costume you visually similar to Captain America's uh, late psychic Bucky and Captain America uh, Isaiah Bradley's classic uniform. Cool. Weapons, Patriotic Shield. Eli wields a replica of Captain America's original shield and throwing stars. So we might see that in all this, and maybe we'd see a motorcycle in, like, I don't know, the... Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, that is going to be it, I think, for the video, because I've covered the stuff, like, I've... It's good, always good. When, I, when we get new champions, it's to learn a little bit about them, especially learning that you kind of knew that... <laughs> oh, yeah, Isaiah Bradley. That makes sense. Right, and so, so, Super Soldier set. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But the transfusion type thing, I it's cool. Like, I, I didn't know much about the character. It's not really something I know about. But, of course, maybe I'll learn more when it comes to, like, the um, Captain America 4 film. You know, th there might be more of a thing with it. Don't know. Uh, what's, what's all this as well? Like, uh, helped in the battle for Nick F with Nick Fury Jr. and the second Patriot... There's some other stuff that he's been involved with. I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to learn a little bit more. And there's the transfusion in place with Eli starting off as a character. And uh, some stuff with links with Wiccan, so maybe some synergies. There's Iron Lad being mentioned as well in all this. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be like a pretty cool, um, pretty cool character. Definitely looks good with what they've gone with the design. But they've gone for more of a kind of close to Captain America meets um oh, what is he called the one in the one in invisible invincible even rex Splode, that's it that is the name of the character uh, it's, i'm not by the way i'm not saying it is exactly like i'm just saying like the it, it kind of like it, it just it's got the kind of like look from that kind of like you know eye piece and like full head covering which of course is part and parcel of the character uh but the kind of design is uh you know, Captain America inspired. Uh, it's also inspired. It looks, it looks like it's inspired by the uh, look of. A, well, kind of like a look of a. a is I, I know. I'm not going to you know keep kind of going on stuff. I'm just going to like get the video out um, to you, lovely people. Of course, the leader design just looks pretty pretty cool. I, I think there's going to be a very dangerous attack. We've seen the ability. We've seen the champion in action. We haven't seen the abilities. Looking forward to Friday, learning a bit more. Thanks very much for watching this video. Check out some other content, which will be located on the screen right now. And have a lovely Tuesday, whatever you're doing. Uh, much love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.